Let's see what he's thinking. You love eating small plastic things. If you made it this far, welcome to the Q Show. Gonna learn a thing, it's probably in the title. Do I care enough to undo this very difficult, or very intermediate modification so that you guys can hear the difference? Hmm. Alright, and just like that, I fucked it up. Alright, so we undid it, and let's just take a listen to what the snare sounds like. Alright, so check it out. This is without the mod. Now here everything sounds pretty tight. Except that snare. The snare sounds almost flabby, almost like blown out, almost like causing it to just distort and sound awful. All right, so let's put that mod in and see what it changes. All right, and we're back. That was harder than I thought it would be. All right, but I did do it. So let's hear it. So as you can hear, even with a extended decay, the low end has been tightened up a little bit. And I would go as far as to say that it's way more usable. So cool stuff, pretty quick to do. I opted for a ceramic one. Let's zoom in and see what I actually did here. So you see here, I'm not even gonna put my finger there, but there's two little points right next to this chip that pretty obviously show where a component would have went. So that's where this 100 nanofarad capacitor is going. I would highly recommend using a soldering iron with a hot temperature and a small tip so you can get in and out real quick. Let me show you what that looks like. So this is like a, my understanding is this is a clone of like a, a nice hacko or something, but there we go. All right, so we got this super small tip here and the iron can get e around uh, 400 and change Celsius, which is dangerously hot. But if you're quick enough, it's a little easier than going in and out with any of those like Radio Shack plug-in fixed temperature irons, I would say. You may also want to use a little rosin, something like this, to prep the surface so that it will melt a little faster. Something that helps me as well, a pair of clippers with an angle so that you can hold the capacitor in place while you use the iron. This is all super small and it's bad enough that I don't have a magnifying glass to see this a little more clearly. This is a the stuff that I had to deal with initially, so hopefully this advice can help those who decide to do this themselves. However, if you just want someone else to take care of it for you, let me know and we'll work it out. I could use the practice. If at any point this is no longer a valid offer, you will see the update in the description.